Okay, this is part two. And this is um, a poem that I wrote called The Mission Statement. I wrote it in first person first, but I'm going to say it in like the third person. Like I used I first, now I'm going to say we. <laughs> so here we go. It says, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> I had a remote, but I don't have it no more. Okay. It says, We need to resurrect, invent, or develop a personal cause such that relates to other people, not one, but all. A fire, a type of explosion towards something good for a change. Thoughts and actions, verbal expressions, all rearranged. Where we are, where we're going, and yes, where we've been. A rearrangement somehow distorted by this thing called sin. That's right, sin and all the comforts that it entails. Comforts leading to addictions on the road to hell. After being exposed in great intensity to the spoils of sin, love for humanity, for morals and values, are now dead within men. Technology, that imbalance, that roller coaster ride. The abuse of such is leading to global genocide. You will understand why no one really wants control or stability. If you take time to slow your roll, observe everything you see. If time moved in slow motion for a week or even a day, we can pay closer attention to the foundation we lay. It's like anything in life, practice makes perfect is what they say. But in these modern times, practice tends to lead the wrong way. It seems that for our kids and the generations, they too will bear. We make perfect the practice of demonstrating. We simply do not care. And that is a poem entitled The Mission Statement. So now, as I go through these poems, I'm going to go one by one. Slight descriptions, and then go to the next. Now the next poem that I'm going to speak on, which I'm just, I don't have these in any type of order. I'm going to go to the next poem. It's called At Age 26. So, see you on the next segment. I think this will be four. <laughs>